So some changes are happening at BeatStars and as of the 18th of November, BeatStars Studio is something that's going to be made more accessible than ever to beat sellers on the platform. It's really interesting timing this because in my most recent video I was breaking down Soundy Studio and comparing what's good about that, but today we're in BeatStars Studio, which a lot of you watching this channel right now will probably be a lot more familiar with. So in today's video I'm going to be taking you through the new upload process if this is something you haven't seen before and trying seeing what is different about this new way of uploading. So we are on the upload section where we're going to upload our beats and one thing already which is going to be a little bit of a time saver but we're, we're talking 10 seconds depending on how good your Wi-Fi is is now when you upload the WAV file a lot like Airbit and with Soundy because they do this it will convert the WAV file to an mp3 so you don't have to upload the mp3 as well as the WAV file anymore which Again, 10 seconds. But let's go and upload our track stems and our untagged audio. The thing that'd be really interesting to know is if it's actually a faster upload process. I doubt it. Normally, it is down to the Wi-Fi, which in my case, isn't great. One thing that's a bit frustrating is you can't upload the track stems while the WAV file is. You used to be able to upload them all at once so I could sit back and watch them upload, but now I've got to wait for the WAV file to finish uploading before I can upload the stems. This is just a little nitpick, Again, I'm just reviewing this as we go along. While we wait, by the way, the track is called Jingle and it is a Christmas piano ukulele pop beat, which I imagine a lot of you watching this channel probably aren't interested in. But but hey, I'm just a guy on a grind trying to hit a certain niche right now. Okay, so it's generating a tag for us, which is helpful, even though I don't use that because I give away my beats for free without a tag for non-profit use. And I've also got to wait for this to process. Oh man, that's a little bit frustrating. <sighs> Okay, here we go. Now I can upload the track stems. This is going to take a lot longer. I actually have a sip of my coffee while we wait. One thing that is good about this track time is we can actually focus now on all the other stuff that we need to do, the metadata and the basic info. So we're going to firstly add our artwork in. In he goes, right there. And he should upload in a second. Going to add my title in. Now this is actually really cool, this section here, because normally I'm a pop producer, so I normally target pop artists, but I've been really enjoying making pop hip-hop beats, and I do like doing a little bit of singing myself on tracks, so if I can start categorizing for beat with a hook, I can start actually targeting rappers in my pop beats as well. Description, this is all pretty standard at this point. What's really annoying is it's not saved anymore, so I've got to go to my old beats and copy and paste the description I use. There you go, copy and paste that. Put it into there. Okay, what else we got? Some metadata, tags, up to three tags still. Now the genre thing's gonna be very interesting because you used to have sub genres, but if you don't have that anymore, might have to see what we've got going on here. There's a lot going on here. This is very good for me because pop's always been very hyper specific. So I haven't been able to really tailor to niche. It's fact we've got indie now. Oh, this is a game changer. Yeah, I'm a big fan of this. Well, I'll just put it in as pop, I guess. You can choose up to three genres as well. Oh, this is great. Okay, let's see here. What else we got? Might take a bit of getting used to to find out where all the different genres are. We'll put Christian Pop in there as well, actually. So obviously, the key of this track today is G major. And the BPM is 110. Moods, happy. What else can we put in? I think grateful. Loved, why not? And now you've got a section as well where you can also put in the instruments. Very cool. This is all metadata, which is very interesting to actually have put in. So we've got piano, we've got acoustic guitar, and you want to be filling out all this information because all this information, BeatStars algorithm is going to use it to help rank your beats to the right people. Lady, we've got strings. Monetization. Okay, now we're on pricing and I'm just updating this. One thing that's very frustrating is I have some preset save settings that I haven't seemed to have correlated across that much, which is my one little frustration. So I'm going to put the price of this beat at $400, mainly because when it comes to Christmas beats, I put the price a little bit more. We go free mp3 for email. One new feature I can see here is the content ID and more. Now this is very cool because I've been using Airbit to date for its YouTube monetization but now BeatStars has the feature as well and it's also used on TikTok, Instagram and Facebook so not just on YouTube so it's actually better than Airbit. Now because I use Airbit I'm not going to use it this time around but I'm definitely going to do some more research into this before I accept it and it could be something that's interesting. Now let's have a look at the files which is all uploaded. There's no collaborators on here. Okay so now we go on to the review section where we can review all the information we've put in this is a slightly longer and more tedious way of uploading but there's a lot more metadata that you can put in and I'm all for that. I'm a big fan of that because hopefully that means that the beats are more likely to be put in front of the right people. So there'll be no complaints from me here. I'm really impressed with this new upload system by BeatStars. I'm now going to publish the track. It's going to upload. It's automatically uploading into the locker, which I'm going to do a whole other video on by the way and it's there for everyone to see now in store. And you've also got the pro page link here which is really cool so I can 
keep this open when I upload it onto YouTube, I can use that. But yeah, guys, this is BeatStar's new system. What do I think about it? I think it's very good. I think it's a lot better than what I would say is probably the outdated way of uploading beats. Again, I'm a big fan of all the metadata stuff that's going on here. I do feel like there's now a better chance for beats to be put in front of the right people because one of my biggest frustrations as a pop producer has been beats that aren't even pop ranking at the top of the pop charts on the beat store i feel like this will improve the user experience especially for the artists searching for beats so i'm all for it but yeah guys let me know what you think in the comments below if you use this yet and or if you think you might be tempted to use it so then guys smash the subscribe button if you enjoyed this video keep making music and i'll see you in the next video